And that is a practice that we are still keeping uh, at Bodhinyana Monastery, at the Masara Monastery to this day. Uh, we do those three months of the rainy season. Uh, and here in Australia it fits reasonably well because the rain in Australia is pretty much at the same time, or at least here in Perth it is, uh, as it is in the monsoon season in India. So it's a fairly good fit uh, with, with what happens in India. So that's a good thing here. Yeah. But again, you can see, this is uh, traditional Buddhism. It goes back to a time prior to the Buddha. And the Buddha used the existing traditions in India uh, for, as part of also the Buddhist movement uh, that started growing up at that time. So these are fairly, you know, these are fairly straightforward things. Uh, but there are even deeper things in Buddhism, which are, if you like, traditional. And one of those things are some of the rules that the Buddha laid down for monastics. And there are, of course, uh, as you know, as I mentioned before, there are 227 rules for the monks. In fact, there are many, many more rules than that, uh, because the vinya can be expanded beyond those rules, and there's much more there. Uh, but some of those rules were laid down not because they are essentially Buddhist, but because lay people would come to the Buddha and say, Bhante, Venerable Sir, uh, these monks are doing all kinds of things which are contrary to the traditions in India. You must lay down a rule against these things. And a typical thing, a couple of typical examples are the Buddha laid down the rule that monks are not supposed to destroy plants, for example. This is one of those rules. And there isn't really anything in Buddhism which says that plants, uh, that it's bad karma or it's wrong to kill plants. But according to the belief in India at the time, uh, there was a belief that plants have one sense faculty. They can feel. Uh, so they can experience any destruction that is happening to them. Uh, and because of that, monastics are not allowed to the present day to kill plants or even to break off a small branch, to pull a leaf, whatever it is, uh, because of a belief that existed in India in those days. Uh. And the same thing with digging the ground. Digging the ground was also considered as uh, injuring uh, living beings or injuring rather uh, <coughs> a sentient being which has one sense. The earth was considered as having one sense, uh, the sense of touch. So monks should not kill uh, or rather dig the earth uh, because that would injure the earth. It would injure a one sense living being. So again, you can see here how some of the rules that we have as monastics actually were uh, laid down because of people complaining that it went against the traditions of society in those days. Uh, 